All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can sort these items based on column name. So let me give you the demo first so that you will get some idea. And over here, we have the column name called name and we'll be sorting these items based on a person name. So let me click over here. And now we sorted these items based on ascending order. And if I click it again, we are sorting these items based on descending order. We can do the same with email as well. So let me sort with ascending order and let me sort with descending order. Okay. So here I'm not using any JavaScript to do this. All this is done through Laravel and Liveware. So in this specific video, I'm going to show you how we can do this exact thing. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all, let me go to a list users.blade.psv file. So go to list users.blade.psp let me do some indentation and over here let's add this table border first and we can do this using table border okay and we added the border so now let's add the icons for up arrow and down arrow over here and here as well so first of all let me add that on name section so let me go to this name column and over here uh, let's add a span tag and inside this let's add icon with a class of fa fa arrow up similarly for arrow down class equals fa fa arrow down so let me refresh it and we added this so let's add this over here so we can simply add a class over here let's add a class with a float right and it is moved over here let's make this a little bit smaller so we can simply do text small sm and this is looking good and finally let's add text muted class over here to separate the sort directions and currently this is active as descending order and if we put this over here and let me remove this from here and it is on ascending order okay and we'll be switching this based on our order directions and finally let's add cursor pointer over here so when someone hover over this they will see the pointer so for that let's add a style tag with the cursor and the value is pointer let me refresh it and we see this pointer okay that's fine now let's add wire click on this span tag so we can simply do wire click and on wire click we'll call the method called sort by and we'll pass the name and over here uh, we'll be passing sort by as name okay and we need to create this method on our list uses a component class so list uses component class and over here uh, let me add that method so let me go to the end and over here let me add that method called sort by and we'll be receiving the column name and for now let me die and dump here and if I refresh the page and click over here and we are calling that method okay now let's add two different public properties so let me go to the top and over here let me add a public property called sort column name and by default let's make this as created it and another property called sort direction okay by default let's make this as descending order and let me go to the render method on the bottom and over here we are calling this latest method and this is similar to order by created at on descending order so we will be replacing that with order by created at on descending order okay and we can remove this and if i refresh the page we'll get the same results and now instead of using this created it we'll be using our public property okay to make that dynamic so we can simply do this 
sort column name and then sort direction this sort direction okay let me refresh the page and it is doing the same and now when someone click on this we need to sort the items based on name okay so let me go to that sort by method and over here we can simply do this sort direction equals ascending order and this sort column name equals we'll get the column name from here right now if i refresh the page and if i click over here we sorted the items based on ascending order right but if we click over here again we are sorting that on ascending order so we need to make this dynamic as well so over here if it is already on ascending order we'll send the order to descending so for that let's add a condition over here so if this sort column name is same as the past column name then we perform the logic over here we'll set the sort direction as the opposite of the current sort direction right so for this i'll be creating the different method so let me call that method as swap sort direction and we'll be creating that method uh, else i uh, will make the sort direction by default is ascending order and we can remove this right and now let's create this method called swap sort direction so public function swap sort direction and over here if the current sort direction is equals to ascending order then we'll make that as descending otherwise we'll make that as ascending order okay and we need to return that so that we can receive it here now let me refresh it again and click over here and we are sorting based on ascending order and if i click it again we are sorting that on descending order okay but we are not changing this active state over these icons so let me do that as well so let me go to list users.blade.php file and over here uh, we need to add the conditional for this class called text muted right so let me remove that for now and over here let's add the logic and we can do if the sort column name is equals to name and if the sort direction is calls to ascending order then we'll do nothing otherwise we we'll add the class called text muted okay now let's do the same let me copy everything from here and paste it over here if the sort column name is name and the sort direction is descending order then we'll not add any class but if it is not then we'll add the class called text muted so now let me refresh the page and by default two of the arrows are muted none of them are active and if i click on this then the first arrow is active and it is showing that we are on ascending order and if i click it again and the second arrow is active and it is showing that we are on descending order right so we can do the same for email as well so for that let me copy everything from here and then let me paste it here so we need to change this uh, name to email so let me do replacement with email okay now let me refresh the page and we got the same design and these icons so now if i click on this the items are sorted based on ascending order if i click it again these items are sorted based on the descending order based on this column name which is email right and you can do the same for other columns on your project also you can extract this into a component to make it more cleaner so for now let me leave as it is and you can do some modifications or some refactoring over here so this was for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one